Hey folks, it's Greg. You're watching Greg's Country Cabin Outdoors. Hope you're having a great day. It's Sunday. Um, I spent Saturday at my son's up in uh, Peoria, Illinois, and uh, got to visit with the grandsons and uh, his wife, Mikkel, and uh, got to meet his landlord. And great, great landlord. <laughs> they uh, spent the morning pretty much cleaning the gutters, cleaning the roof off, trimming the trees back off of the roof of the house that my son's renting and uh, cleaned off the garage and got everything lined up. They changed the back door and uh, so a really productive day. Uh, the landlord went down. They've got a toilet in their basement that not flushing properly. It flushes, but it's not flushing properly. Um, I really don't know much about toilets, so I wasn't able to help, but uh, hey, it gave me a chance to go and visit, and uh, I had a good time. Uh, they set a bed up for me in the basement. I got a real good night's sleep, so I'm headed back home now, and uh, i got a lot of mowing to do. I've got uh, all of the cabin properties that I mow and uh, another piece of property in the nearby town that I mow. And so i got to go back home, pick up my mower, and head back to the cabin. <laughs> uh, hopefully I'll get it all done today. It's supposed to turn off real hot uh, during the week. And... Uh, good chance of rain all week long so uh, hopefully I'll get it done wait and see yeah. I'm driving down the Illinois highway so yeah it's going to be a bumpy ride my son gave me this fishing pole rack and I'll show you a little closer up top it holds four rods and they've got it's got a little locking mechanism here so that you can lock it in place you don't have to worry about them falling out but anyway um yeah i got that mounted up today and it's looking real good he gave me another one and eventually i'll put it up in the shed toe but um it holds six poles this one right here only holds four but those are the four that I use. So, well, the last one back here in the corner is my antique. I've had it since 1974. But um, the rest of them I use. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. I have a real nice rack here instead of using the old brass hooks. So, it's good. Well, I've been cleaning up the shed tow, getting things put away, even got the piano bar cleaned off. This is the first time in a couple of years it's been completely cleaned off. So I need to get it stocked and I have a few more glasses that have got to go in there. But uh, it's coming along nicely. Should be ready in two weeks. Well, it's been about four years in the making. But the guest cabin is almost complete. The piano bar needs to be finished. I haven't finished it yet. But it's comfortable. And it looks livable. There's a few things that gotta go yet, but all in all. It's looking real good. Well, here it is. 
a shed tow ready for use it's got a sink with running water it's got a gas stove two burner it's got 12 volt lights it's got an air conditioner it's got a cabinet with a drawer with silverware in it and some cutlery <coughs> It's got a 30 gallon water tank underneath, dining table, a coat tree for when you come in the door to hang your coats up. Got a broom you can sweep up after yourself. It has a piano bar. And I'm getting some stuff into it. I got to get my glassware in here. This isn't quite done, but uh, the, the rest of the place is livable, so you know. That's all that really matters, right? So, yeah, I got my trophies up there. A couple of spare fishing poles for the guests to use if they want to. I need to get a tackle box put right down there for them. That's an outhouse or toilet. And uh, this is a bucket of sawdust so you can put compost in it. The wood stove is a round oak. It will run you out of here on a cold day. I still need to finish the rock behind the stove. The Murphy bed is ready. I've got a mattress rolled up in this box right here. And uh, the bed folds down and the foot end sits on that box right out here. There it is, the shed tow. The loft isn't ready to be used yet. It's just storage for now, but I've even got a few games up above. Sliders and sorry. And there's a Texas Hold'em poker game set right there. And this is a checkerboard and Othello board that I made. There's the Othello side. And there's, oh, there's, that's the, this is the Othello side. That's the checker side. Or you could use it either way. It doesn't matter. And uh, my son made the checkers. And the chips for the Othello. There's the checkers. There's the chips. So... You can be entertained if you want to. Not only do I have 12 volt lighting, I have ambiance lighting. And I don't know which one of these is dead. Probably this one. Now well, they came on, but you can barely see them. But they put out a nice little glow. There you go. They put out a nice little glow. And... If I switch all the way to the bottom position on the box, they'll stay on for six hours and then go off all by themselves. And I've got three sets of those. I skipped that one and I put one in right here under the door so that if you come in at night, you can just reach up, flip these lights on, and you'll be able to see to get over to the switches over there because... These switches won't work unless the generator's running. Once you fire up that generator, then the switches, these switches will work. That light will work, and that light and fan will work. And the receptacles around the room that I put in will work. There's one there, and one down there. The one down here on the other side of the bed. There's one over here for your coffee pot or whatever. And then there's another one right down there. So if you want to put Christmas lights up in the windows, you can. 
another one right here behind the chair near the wood pile so yeah it's ready to be used <laughs>